Okay, this is the material that I'm going to be using for the bottom of the green case. I've got it OD coated and you want to make sure everything's off the back of it, nice and neat. Sometimes I have stuff on my work area. But I did interface this. I used the SF-101 and interfaced it really well. So, um, and OD coat it. Interface and OD coat. We've got our template, and I wrote on here green case since I have two. Unfortunately, you can't use the same template on two different items, but I want my text to line up straight, so I'm going to line it up pretty st straight as I can. And I'm going to use painter's tape to hold it in place while I work on it. my fabric so use my hole punch hard on my kitchen cabinet. If I was out in the work shed, I'd be fine, but there we go. Okay, so we have four, four holes cut out. Then the same way we cut our template, I'm just going to line up my quilting ruler with the edge of my template. Cut this out. See where my corners are and cut those out. So now I have bottom that hopefully is going to fit perfect. And if you put it on and you think, oh my gosh, they don't fit, you've probably got hole number one, two, three, and four um, in the wrong spots, so flip it around, do whatever you need to do. But if it's perfect, I'll come back in just a minute and we'll glue it on. We're ready to adhere our fabric to our bottom and I've, when I made sure where my holes were lined up, I marked on the back one, three, two, and four, so for sure I get it in the right position. I'm using this um, glue again uh, because I didn't make it to the store. If you use the Eileen's Tacky Glue, you can move this around some. When you use this other glue, it sticks pretty much immediately. So. I want to make sure and get my glue all the way to the edge. I can always wipe it off, but I want to make sure I've got plenty of glue around the edges. I don't want those coming off, peeling back later. And I want glue all around the feet, close to the feet. But I'm just going to do half at a time because this glue does not let you move your fabric around easily. So I'm going to make sure I have glue around these feet, way past where my fabric's going to go. I'm going to smooth out a bunch of the lumps at this point. I want it good on my corners. And I got 
too much. So I'm going to wipe a little bit off. Two hole, number four hole. Put those on. Lay down your edges nicely. Get a wet rag and wipe and work that. This fits real nicely around your feet and you can just work that around the feet and the material stretches out a little bit. So none of your wood shows. All that's poking out is a little bit of your metal foot. So let me get my roller. out. Just make sure your glue seeps out the edges and you're making sure that's got glue all the way to the edges and adhered down well. Work that down. Wipe your glue off the feet where they're exposed. really does not want to move with this glue. Okay, then I'm going to pull this back. Put glue on my other side. I may use too much glue, I don't know, but I sure don't want it to come unglued later. So you have to decide how much you want to use. And one thing I didn't think about to say before, one of the reasons that I'm using the glues that I'm using is because they dry clear. If I forget and don't get some wiped off, it will dry clear and you'll never notice it. And wipe it further than what you think you're going to need. So for sure, all your corners get adhered nicely. Look at that direction. And I'm not stretching because I want my feet to line up. Wipe your excess glue off and roll your fabric down over the edges. Give it a nice wipe down around those feet. Make sure it lays nice around the feet. Roll over it one more time. the edges. And yes, I do make pies with this, but I do wash it. There you go. Double check. Oops, I have some glue on the front, so I'm going to that off. Go down, wipe the edges good, but don't push so hard you move your material. Okay, I have both bottoms finished. I decided to tape the corners down while they dry, just so for sure they are adhered well, because that glue is gonna dry clear. So there we go, we've got our bottom on. Now, ready to go to the next step.